What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released the very first 2025 iOS update and that is iOS 18.2.1. This is a public release, this is not a beta, so this is released to everybody as long as you are not currently on the betas, which is 18.3 right now. So anyways, this update came alongside iPadOS 18.2.1, but those were the only two updates that we saw today. Now, as far as the size goes, you can see it came in at around 511 megabytes on my iPhone 16 Pro. And you can see Apple mentions really nothing with this update. They just say it provides important bug fixes and that's it. Now, as far as the build number goes, if we go into our settings, a general about 18.2.1, we can see that the new build number is 22C161 and the modem firmware down here is 1.21.05. And if you're wondering why my set looks different, that's because I'm traveling out at CES. So hope you guys can bear with me on the video quality and audio quality for this video. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 18.2.1? And since this is a double point update, a 0 0.2, 0 0.1, there's two points in there, those are always going to be bug fix updates and or security patch updates. We're never gonna see new features or new Apple intelligence or anything like that in these double point updates. So don't have any high expectations for this update unless you are having issues on iOS 18.2 because that's where we can see some changes when it comes to bug fixes. And one of these bug fixes could be in the messages application. So I, and I've seen other people as well, have an issue in 18.2 where sometimes you get notifications from a group chat where you have hide alerts turned on. So sometimes you will see messages slip through the cracks when you have hide alerts turned on for a group chat. So I'll be testing this to see if it has been fixed, but that's one thing I am hoping to see fixed. And then somebody left a comment on my Apple Weekly episode on Saturday about a bug in iOS 18.2 that it seems like a lot of other people are having as well. And that has to do with the emoji keyboard. So this person said that the keyboard glitches like opening up emoji it loads for a bit. So I'm not currently having that issue. As you can see, I can load up the emojis just fine. I don't have any lag or load times, but that could be fixed here with iOS 18.2.1. And another issue that seems to be going around is no push notifications for applications installed after iOS 18.2. So if you install an application after you update it to 18.2, it seems like some of those applications might not be sending push notifications properly. So that is a pretty major issue, and I would expect that to be fixed here in 18.2.1 if that is something that was widespread and Apple knew about it. So if you had that issue, let me know in a comment down below because it seemed like some of you guys did have that issue based on the comments I've received recently. Now, I've also received a lot of comments of people having issues with mail on 18.2. So not just the design of it, some people don't like the design, but some people are having bugs here as well. So one commenter said that they're not getting any mail you know, after 18.2, they're struggling to actually receive mail on their device, which is a pretty major bug as well. So hopefully that's fixed. And then also sometimes phishing emails will be categorized under the primary section. And obviously that's a big issue as well. So hopefully Apple does fix that. That is something that could be fixed in a double point update. You know, even though it is, you know, somewhat related to Apple intelligence and things like that, I, I could see that being fixed in a double point update. However, once again, Apple would most likely mention that if that was fixed. So I don't anticipate things in the mail application being fixed, but if you had any issues, let me know in a comment down below if they were resolved with 18.2.1. And some users also reported a face ID issue with iOS 18.2 where their face ID would just be delayed. It would not unlock their device right away like it did beforehand. So that's something else that you might see fixed here with 18.2.1. And then here's something that just happened today. So the BBC called out Apple once again for creating more fake headlines with the notification summaries feature. So I don't fully agree with this because I don't think this is really a headline. This is a summary of a lot of different notifications bunched into one. I don't think that's the same as saying it's a misleading headline. But nonetheless, BBC did make another article calling Apple out saying that, you know, Apple intelligence incorrectly notified users of, you know, this issue right here. So that is something that I do not think is going to be fixed with 18.2.1, but it's absolutely something that Apple should put some more parameters on, make it something that's less likely to spit out, you know, some of these fake headlines as the BBC is calling it. So I think it does need some work. I think it's doing what it's intended to do. However, that's not good when it comes to 
especially you know touchy subjects like breaking news. Now we also got an update on Apple's $95 million settlement for the Siri spying lawsuit. And Apple came out and said that Siri data has never been sold or used for marketing. And you can see the full statement here from Apple, which should clear up any type of confusion or concern when it comes to Siri and privacy. Now, as far as the overall performance here on iOS 18.2.1, it feels pretty good to me so far. I mean, it doesn't feel too much different than iOS iOS 18.2 so I've only had it installed for a little while now but so far it feels pretty good and these double point updates are pretty well known for being stable so you know a lot of times the point updates like the point two might not be as stable but these double point updates are typically a little bit more stable and have a little bit better performance and battery life historically that's not to say this one does but historically that is the case and then as far as Geekbench goes I did run some Geekbench scores and you can see I ran one right before I installed this update on 18.2 and we scored a 3266 on the single core 7449 on the multi-core so very low multi-core that was an anomaly as you can see that's I don't know why it scored so low but here with ios 18.2.1 we scored a 33.78 on the single core 85.49 on the multi-core so a pretty respectable multi-core score there you can see going down the list that is one of the highest we've scored here on the channel from any iOS 18 version. So that is looking good here for iOS 18.2.1. Now, as far as the battery life goes, 18.2.1 could see a minor improvement over 18.2, but I would not expect anything dramatic unless you had you know, battery drain issues before. So I'm currently at 55% here. You guys will have to let me know what I started this video with, but yeah, battery life is okay. You know, on 18.2, it could be better. So hopefully we do see a minor bump here with 18.2.1. One. And since I'm out here at CES, I will be able to test the battery life pretty extensively. And of course, as always, I will be bringing you guys an update on the performance and the battery life. And if anything else was found in 18.2.1 later on this week in Apple Weekly, which is coming on Saturday. Now, as far as security patches go, there are no security fixes for iOS 18.2.1. So Apple did not mention anything. There are no CVEs here in the security notes, which you know goes in line with what they said about this update they just said it provides important bug fixes and is recommended for all users they did not say anything about security so that is good to keep in mind as well now as far as what to expect next from apple i would expect to see ios 18.3 as the next public release and we should be seeing that at the end of january potentially even early february so that is coming it's not going to be a major update the next major update is going to be ios 18.4 which we'll see beta testing start in february but anyway speaking of beta testing we should be seeing ios 18.3 beta 2 this week so the week of january 6th i would expect to see 18.3 beta 2 get released for beta testers i know a lot of you guys are testing out the beta as am i and hopefully that has more features than what we saw in 18.3 beta 1 because that was a relatively boring and minor update all right so now should you update to ios 18.2.1 and i would say that if you're currently on ios 18.2 i would go ahead and update you really don't have much to lose if anything to lose at all by updating updating to 18.2.1. So I'll go ahead and do that. If you're on the iOS 18.3 betas, it is not worth downgrading and going backwards to get on 18.2.1 since you don't have any security patches and you don't really have any known bug fixes. And even those bug fixes that are in 18.2.1, those should be within the next two iOS 18.3 betas. So you'll be getting those on your device as well. Anyways, guys, that's it. That is iOS 18.2.1, a very minor update, but I did want to get this video out there and let you guys know it has been released and some potential bug fixes that were included in this update since apple didn't tell us anything in the release notes i wanted to give you a heads up on some of those potential fixes and hope you guys can bear with me on this terrible view here but i am currently out in vegas for ces so i was pretty limited with where i could shoot this video but anyways hope you guys still enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for a lot more ios update videos but anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you soon